Mm. All right, let's see. So uh, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different with our grease pencil today. I'm gonna try to use uh, geometry as a sort of a guide to to let us draw in 3D. So, for example, let's let's keyframe this location here, and then move over to 60, and move it over to the side a little bit, and keyframe the location again. Now we should be able to move like that. And at least what this should give us is ability to now go into Grease Pencil, start to draw a little bit without losing. We could draw on the surface here and move our plane. And draw like that. So that's good. We could, but we are losing our, um, hmm. Let's see, where's the great, that stupid option? Freeze, additive drawing. So the strokes from the previous frame were included as basis for the new one. Okay. I guess we need that. So now if we draw one here, and then we go to the side a little bit, draw another one, and we go. Pause Dropbox for a second. Okay, all right. And we can go to the side a little bit more. And good morning. I cannot read, but hello. And so now we have something like that. Man, I wish, I wish we could move this without messing with the timeline. Maybe, hmm, ooh, I have an idea. Okay, I have an idea. So we want to dictate be able to move this canvas without having to switch into the stupid other object and then switch back to grease plane, grease pencil because that's too much switching. So what we need to do is somehow get this this plane to move without switching to it. So how can we do that? How can we do that? Would it be a displace? Hmm. could go like that but then we still have to be on this object for this to work that's not good hmm maybe if we could control this somehow hmm. maybe if we can control the displace with a driver, possibly. Add a driver. Open driver editor. Add input variable. Hmm. Bar. Hmm. Maybe I should do this some other time. But basically, I'm trying to get this plane to be able to move so that we can draw, uh, we can draw different layers onto it. And stuffy stuff. This is a uh, control space, which is uh, the heavy poly select pi. So this little pi, it it knows to do different things depending on what mode you're in. Since we're in grease pencil, it gives you some grease pencil options here. Okay. And do 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 do. Whoa. Hey man. Some boats, huh? Have you been playing with Blender at all? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Trying to get this thing to 
to work and I mean if we could get this plane to to like uh, go a across the sections then we could have some boat sections maybe but I don't know let's see maybe a mirror oh man you should give it a shot it's really fun that would be really cool uh, let's see graph dope sheet grease pencil okay let me delete all this junk here and maybe okay so let's say we have a since scott is here i think we have to do we have to cave to his demands <laughs> if we have a let's see if we have a water line here oops wireframe and just imagine what what this would look like if you knew how to draw if I knew how to draw let's see ah. Ugh. oh I hate drawing boats it's so these curves oh So we have a boat like this, and so that's our center, and then we can move the timeline a little bit to just move our canvas, and then, uh, well, we could also go in top view here and just say, draw. And we got our mirror turned on. We can do like a nice little Chris Craft or something. This is what I love about the stream. I go in here with no plan pretty much and then and then Scott Robertson comes in and tells us to draw boats. Let's see, Chris Craft. Let's try let's try to find a nice boat. Maybe <clears throat> one of these. My old uh, uh, teacher, Tom Roney, was in love with these, Chris Craft. And they're really pretty. And maybe these this would be cool for uh, like a 3D drawing. Mm. I like how the back the shape uh, twists from like a concave on this side and then it twists and becomes or it's negative over here and then it becomes positive over here that's really nice um, or like this one yeah negative and then positive alright let's try this one Uh, so let me drag and drop this image in here for a second. Chris Craft. Go in there. Okay. Oops, I don't want to get rid of you guys. You need to be here. edit you can select an edge I think oh yeah there we go so you, you can make a box selection like this control L G Z to move that up a little bit oops there we go. draw delete this we can even grab stuff and move it around so if we want to adjust this point, you just um, drag it. 
but you can also turn on this proportional edit which lets you drag it um, proportionally I guess like that you can move around your edges a little bit Oops. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Crimson Knight. Hi, Johan. Hello, Burbank. Hmm. Dang it. So the the I guess the struggle I'm having with grease pencil is I feel like, man, I could have modeled the boat by now. <laughs> if I wasn't fiddling around with all these stupid lines, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I need to still give it a chance. Let's try uh, connect it. That way it doesn't affect the other lines. It's only going to affect the uh, one you have selected. Oh boy, but I drew my line in a bunch of sections, so that's not going to work. Hmm. This is harder than it seems. Let's see. Maybe. I know what will help. That's what will help. the side of a Chris Craft looks like. Let me see. Let's look it up. Chris Craft side. It's pretty boxy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like it's not, it's not even that round. It's cow. So here's our little windshield. And maybe it, it's curving down here. Over here. Man, that is a rough drawing here. You make. Hmm. So how does you make handle uh, drawing planes? Like, I feel like that's the one thing that your grease pencil to, hasn't figured out, gotten figured out yet. Like, this drawing plane. I, I have it jerry rigged here to move. Um, it's just animated on the timeline, but um, you can't. Like, how how would you rotate this plane? Because right, as it stands, you have to. You would have to go. You can change the plane here to X, what would it be X Y plane? And then you're drawing on top view, but but then you have to use the 3D cursor to place it. So you have to be. 
it's it's always like a two-step process to place the drawing plane which is not very nice so now we have to place it in side view first and then we can go to top view and then draw like whatever the shape is here so the planes so how how would you set a drawing plane in you make do you just like you just pick two point or you pick three points in space and then it makes a makes a canvas for you oh my gosh we definitely need some help here <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Damn it. Mm. Um. Hmm. We have a troll in our midst. So we can R X. Well, okay, so we got we can draw this way, but damn. Hey Igor, it's been a while. Hi Johan. Okay. <laughs> um okay, so let's say we put we have to put this little 3D cursor thing here and then it's also hard to tell where exactly your points are so I don't know maybe it's definitely not ideal this this kind of drawing here is not very nice I honestly would rather draw this with polygons but the but it looks so much cooler when you draw it um, with the pen, that's the only thing. It's it's like a s just a style thing. It looks better. Yeah, that that's the main thing for for grease pencil. I feel like because there is a canvas, and it looks like maybe they they plan on on making this canvas useful in the future. But right now, it's like a, sort of a doesn't really do anything like here if we go y x y x z yeah okay so we can draw on this canvas here but then how do we move it how does this is it useful at all is, how is it in the grease pencil object that we can move it let's see custom properties viewport surface offset is that it um, does anybody know how to move this canvas? I'm sure, I think I saw an option to move something somewhere. Yeah, you, you caught him this time. Okay, so here we can move the canvas here. It's sort of buried in a bunch of options, but we can change the color. Uh, let's see. We can move it. Wait, no, no. We can scale it in X and Y. That's great. Even though it doesn't matter because it's an infinite canvas and we can draw anyway. And then we can offset it on X and Y, which also doesn't matter because it's an infinite canvas. But we can't offset it in Z, which is the direction that we need. <laughs> I want to. We need to draw over here, guys. We want to draw cross sections, please let us. I guess one way you could do it is you use the the 3D cursor, but again, it's it's annoying because you can't see exactly what you're doing. I mean, let's see. I need to stop complaining because if I if I keep complaining like this, then the developers will never 
they're gonna they're gonna hate me I'm gonna be on the blacklist okay and it's really hard to place a 3d cursor like this too because we're, we're clicking we're trying to get on this point and it's not happening so maybe if there was a way to manipulate the 3d cursor with a like a move tool or something like that even just that like using the 3d cursor as a canvas that we could move and rotate would be perfect like we can rotate the canvas by by manipulating the 3d cursor and blah 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 i mean i know we can go to top view place it here and then we go to right view and place it here but this placing the canvas should not be a three-step process you know that should be one it should be really quick so um let's see what else can we do the other i mean the easier way to do it would be we could make some curves maybe Yeah, the cursor needs to be more useful, I feel like. Um, let me turn this off. I feel like maybe this is easier. What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm just confusing people. Let's see. How about we just use plain old, good old verts? So how fast can we do this with verts? Which I guess is not the point of this whole grease pencil thing, but... Let's mirror this. Okay. All right, I'm going to make the grease pencil a little bit lighter. Where was it? Do, 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 G pencil. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we could do it with all the, the orthos on at the same time, but that's also not ideal. We, we should be able to do this in the th one big 3D view. Um, the, there's, we're, we're kind of hacking around it, hacking around the problem, I think, is what we're doing. The ability to draw like connected to a point also would be nice. So we know for sure that um, that our, our points are touching. Let's see, so to see this stuff, maybe we could add a uh, skin, oops. Let me go over here. Is it control A? Yeah, control A. So it makes like a little wireframe here. That's one way to do it. Mark root. And we could turn that off whenever we're done with it. You can just draw like wireframe like that. It's 
So to me, this feels a lot like there's a lot more control and it's faster. But it's not, it's definitely not as cool looking. this upside down curve here. And that's really cool. And it curves this way too. Oops. So I think it's like it's going around like that. Really beautiful. Okay. Well, yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Um, I still, I, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with grease pencil just for regular painting. I think it's um, not so bad. And um, if you guys were here yesterday, you saw the, the little grease pencil pie demo, the first um, version. But I'll uh, I'll show that again today if if you guys want. It's a little pie menu I made that's supposed to make a lot of these little repetitive, simple things a little easier, like. Um, creating materials and copying materials and turning on and off stroke and stuff like that. So I think it's, I think it's cool, but I'm a little biased. This is kind of interesting. It's like drawing a wireframe. Also not the most efficient way to work, but it's okay. Oops. Hello. It's me. Okay. Man, and the other thing is this, the 3D cursor is, uh, no offense, it's really distracting. Um, I'm always, I always think I'm looking for Waldo whenever the 3D cursor is on the screen and it's, it, Waldo is not camouflaged at all. He is making my eyes bleed. I really, really, man, someone needs to, the 3D cursor should be like a plane that can, um, you can draw on, not just this little doohickey. Yeah, yeah, we can turn off the 3D cursor. I, I, I always have it off um, for modeling. I, I'm just, I just temporarily brought it out because we're uh, using grease pencil and we're sort of forced to use it. It's my, one of my least, least favorite parts of the interface here. Ooh, okay. Now we have our little Bodie, Bo Bodie McBoat face. And we could do a little drawing here too with verts. We could draw uh, a, a little box like that and bevel the corners. Oops. Oops. 
oh, 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 oh. And this would also also be curved, I guess. So ideally you can go like boom, boom, boom. It's the worst of both worlds. Do you think they can change it to a plane? Um, I guess they could. I think they, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I wish I knew how to do all this stuff. All I can do is complain, which makes me feel like a, like a bum, but I, I need to learn how to, how to do this. Best of both worlds, <laughs> yes. Oh God. Um, all right, let's see. What else can we do here? Mm, what about just regular drawing? I don't know if you guys have ever tried to draw boats, but they are a pain in the ass. They are a pain. Let's add a grease pencil, and here we go. All right, so let's hide the other one and hide this one. Oh, we do have, we have lazy mouse, which if you hold shift, you get a nice lazy curve. I complain until it's annoying, until I start annoying myself. And that's when I know it's time to make a pop up. Till I can't stand my own self. That's what I do. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, we need tips. Does Scott have any boat drawing tips for us? I did work on um, inflatable boats for a while for a small inflatable boat company. But I think I've um, forgotten how to do boats. I guess inflatable boats are different anyway. in the cage inside.
Oh, that sounds easy. We got it. We got the secrets. Now off to make some boats. Oh god. Oh, um, if you guys have ever been on my little drawing uh, sessions, you know that I always say I cannot draw on the computer to save my life. And here it is. Here's the proof. I'm not lying. This is... This is killing me. I'm dying. <laughs> this is like the most messed up, stupid kayak looking thing ever. Okay, let's just do a study of the Chris Craft for now. Because... Let's see. Let's do let's do this uh, crisscross. So we know that we have at least the back cross section here. That's a nice one. Actually, this is pretty wide. It goes really wide. Man. It's pretty dramatic. And then here. One. Oh God, Scott, do you um, prefer drawing on the computer or on paper, or do you find that with um, drawing on paper allows you to be more accurate, or I don't know, what what do you think, or do you scan drawings in to paint them, or do you just draw directly into Photoshop? or whoever. first everybody bust out that paper okay so you do scanning I guess for those like really intense renderings um, infinite painter what what's that oh man so you're doing a lot of 3d drawings in, uh, in those programs Secret iPod, iPad. Ooh. Oh, now I gotta, now I gotta look it up because it's top secret. Oh man. Okay. 
actually yeah let's let's do this because we we always learn something new in the from the chat there's always some interesting suggestions and this stuff is probably there's always something that uh, Oh, actually, I think I have this on my <laughs> on my phone, but I haven't. And my finger is not a good drawing tool, but maybe I should get it on iPad and stuff. Is it better than Procreate? Hmm. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, Infinite Painter has Lasso. Nice. I feel like, man. Does Photoshop, Photoshop doesn't have that kind of lasso tool, right? That would be so nice in Photoshop. And then the other one is Umake. I think I downloaded a trial, but I never got used to it. This better not give me a, a copyright strike. I don't think ads count, right? I'm gonna skip through it just in case. All right, let's see what how how you how does you make do it? They have way to they have a way to edit your curves after. So you can turn. You can do surfaces in there too. They have very epic music as well. Oh, that's Local Motors, is it? Right? Wait, is that Nico? Drawing. That's Local Motors. Man, that's cool. Alright. They didn't really show how the, how the drawing planes work, but maybe, maybe in the demo video. How does the drawing Hello, planes work? So you can edit them. Although Blender has that too. We can draw curves and then edit. Alright. So do you draw the line straight and then you, you just drag them around afterwards? Or is that the, the canvas work plane right here? I think I'll have a handle on the same plane. I'll do that. Oh. I'll just have to fit this way. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I like how you can put the cursor right onto the end of a of a line to line it up there. See, that's nice. Um, that's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I was trying to put. Well, whatever. Anyway, that 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 looks a lot more designed for three D drawing. Which I feel like it could be done here. It just needs a little bit of um, those uh, that snapping ability and uh, that cursor to be a little bit more three D. But um, anyway, so for grease pencil too, it's it seems like it's more of a 2D animation tool right now. So you can draw on different frames and have animations and stuff like that. But the other cool thing is there's fills and things like uh, you can, for example, you can make a new layer here. Let's see, make another layer. Oh no, where's my layers? Huh. Anyway, 
let's make a new material. Call it fill. And then this one, you can make it uh, that brownish color. And then let's call this BG and FG. And then here we go. Let's Oops, merge that. Call this FG. So all my lines are on the foreground and then let's make a new layer and call this BG. Okay. Okay, so now all our lines are on the foreground and we can put our drawing, our fill color on the background. And I definitely like this fill feature. And then we can adjust this a little bit after. And we could make a copy of that fill material, make it darker. And just lasso that one. Lasso here, lasso over here. Maybe that's more red. Copy, this one is more red. And a little bit lighter. Fill, let's do another one, copy. So it's a little bit cumbersome that we have to do a new fill every single time we want a new color. But hopefully they'll add in the, the ability to change colors without having to create a new material. I think that would help a lot. Copy this one. Hey, DD. Yeah, I, I don't know. This stuff is just too, it's too exciting to pass up. Can't help it. We can change the line color here. And you can press F to make the line bigger. Maybe we need an, oh, this can be on foreground. Yeah, I actually did, uh, I did tag him in a little post yesterday. Um, I showed, I did made a little video showing this, this, uh, Reach Pencil pop-up and I, I put some suggestions in there too. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what he thinks about it. 
Let's see if he can get get vertex color in there. Well, the thing is, I I've seen a lot of um, I've seen a lot of people complain about the 3D cursor, and pretty much say the same things that I was saying. So I don't want to just repeat the same complaints to them. I think of even better would be I just somebody needs to learn how to code and just do it because I always feel like that. That gets more, that's more productive than just complaining. Just learn how to do it and make it happen. Katia natural sketch. That sounds expensive. Katia. That's uh, some industrial strength modeling, isn't it? Why isn't this working? Hmm. Okay. Give me this material. Oh, wrong. Wrong one. Um, Lester Tiger, yeah. I definitely am feeling rusty right now. And plus, I hate drawing on the computer. This is horrible. brought out pencil and paper today. there was a way to lock like alpha lock so that you don't go out of the background out of the border of your previous layer that would be nice and then we got red maybe red can be a a uh, pencil This looks like it was drawn on Microsoft Paint. Um, oh, I remember I Love Sketch. That was uh, really exciting when it came out. Or I don't know if it ever, ever came out, but this demo like blew my mind when we saw it. Yep. Oh eight, oh nine. Did this 
end up becoming you make I wonder because it looks a lot like you make they have even have that red dot with the line with the crosshair that kind of looks like you make man I love that the gestures where you you just like scribble on a line and it, and it deletes it or circling the points man that's really nice Ooh. so cool I really hope there's some grease pencil developers watching this for, for uh, ideas So this feels like true th 3D drawing because you don't have to go into the 2D orthographics at all. Like he's all in one view. He's making, defining his planes all in the 3D view. Looks like he's got control over everything. You make does all of these things. Maybe, I mean, who knows? Maybe these guys helped to make you make. Or maybe maybe this project became you make. It looks similar. Um, oh, it's this priest. Have you guys ever seen this video of the priest <laughs> talking about his uh, private jets? Uh, oh, it's not you make. Hmm. build there we go anyway this is this is my favorite part about grease pencil definitely the little build modifier wait where did it go where's my layers guys what are you serious let's see Grease pencil. Oh, I gotta delete that. What? Oh. Okay, let's see. There we go. It still needs some work though. Oops. Do, 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 do. Um, the other thing I like about this pop up is we can make it full screen and do stuff like that. Oh, maybe this stuff should be on another layer. I don't know why my layers aren't showing up today. That's weird. They were working yesterday. this flip the canvas by flipping the view from left to right that's cool oh actually that feels a lot better and now I can see how screwed up my perspective was oh damn this is embarrassing Scott Robertson here looking at this shitty drawing oh no 
I should have stayed in bed today. Oh. God. Oh no. I also think that by default, when you're on a layer, you should not be able to affect the other layers, you know? Like, I want to lock this to only this layer. And there should be an option to, um, if you would, if you did want to work on multiple layers, you would shift and select the other layer. So you could, you know, do a box selection and grab all the layers if you want to affect all of them. But if you have one selected, it should only affect that one without having to unlock and lock every single time. That's not practical. Um, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. That's less clicking is better, I think, for all this stuff. And then, man, that's really bad. Look at that. Look at that perspective there. So, but I, I could try to move. It. I'm not going to try to move it. That's too much, too much energy. So now I got to go to foreground layer, lock that layer, and then too many, too many clicks, too many clicks, too many clicks, too many clicks. And this is a lot brighter, actually. Let me make a copy, make it brighter. There we go. Thank you, Pinstripes. You helped save the day. Wait, maybe, okay, let me unlock that, make a new layer. Because I want it to go under the flag. There it is. Under the flag. Then we go here. Then we go here. And over here. Hi, Adam. Welcome. Um, hey, Gres Gresciano. Is it easy to animate in the new 2.8 or time consuming? I'm not sh I don't know if it's any different from 2.79. I think it's, as far as I can tell, it looks the same. Um, although I, I know they were working on animation in the code quest. So there's probably some animation improvements. Hi, Olav. Can I include some of your EV videos? Yeah, that would be great. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um. Yeah, I like your compilations, Olav. I've been watching those. It's pretty amazing. All the EV stuff everyone's been doing. Actually, let's look at one. I'm going to bring one up, okay, Olaf? Let's see, Olaf 3D. You guys should check out oh, Mr. Olaf here. And, okay, where's our EV compilation? Here we go. So these are some pretty amazing videos. Oh, God, come on. Let's see, see what everyone's been doing. Ooh, Charlie Studio. And that EV glass, not bad. It's like um, 
baby Iron Man. Pretty epic. So if you guys are new to all this stuff, we're, we're looking at EV demos, which is a real-time viewport in Blender. So, you know, when you're modeling, this is what you see. It's straight, uh, there's, there's no wait time for rendering. Hi, Red Ramos. Oh man, this one's crazy. Wait, let's check. This. this is very strange. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I love that. I think this is probably my favorite thing that anybody's done in EV so far. That's looking pretty good. Uh, John Fry would appreciate that. I think he worked on this car a little bit. Whoa. That fake camera shake. Nice. Cool. Freezing up again. Uh oh. Um, well, my Dropbox is paused. I don't know. That's that's all I can do. I hope I hope it behaves a little bit better. Um, copy here. I'll make this brownish. Ooh, let's make this bigger. Oh, I drew it on the wrong direction. Damn it. It's okay. Nobody will know. Ah. Okay. Um, maybe we could do some water effect. Let's see. Shitty water. Oops. God, this drawing. Whew. All right. So let's try play. Oh, for build for the build modifier too. I feel like it would be nice if, because right now it plays all of the layers at the same time. You can see kind of like the water is happening and the lines and the background all happens at the same time. It would be nice if there was a way to force the layers to be sequential for the build. So right now, what I've been doing to to kind of force that is I'll just. Let me save this thing. I'll just go merge down. Ah. 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 Merge down. Like this. And it's not ideal because we lose our 
layers, but then at least when you play it, it's going to be sequential. So, I don't know. Let me erase this other crap here. That's just more more wish list. Boo, 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 boo. Erase all this. Um, Darren, the lasso tool, I think it is only additive because if you try to remove it, let me see. Cool, Olaf, thanks. Um, got a couple, let's see, do I have any other ones? Yeah, I guess the hover bike is the best one. Hover bike and the, the corridor are my favorite. So yeah, if we, we use a lasso here, I think if we try to erase, first of all, there's no erase lasso. It, it only like deletes the whole thing or it deletes giant chunks of it like that. Kind of sucks. So the only way to to fix this is, I guess you have to make another color. That's the color of the background and then go over it, which is not the best, but maybe like that. Oops, and then you go here. Oh. There should be a color, I mean, there is a color picker in here, but for some reason it doesn't show up in the other, there, there you go. So you could draw like that with the color picker. Hey, Jeffrey. Thanks. We're doing some blender here. Let's see here. There's also the sculpt mode, has some interesting things in it. Let me save this first. Oh, here we go. Like that, or you can go like, like that. I guess that's cool. Sylvia's getting buff. Those are cool. Okay, Sylvia, are we done here? Oh, there's also some dials maybe. scribbly a little bit. <laughs> We've been working on scribbliness for the past couple days. Trying to trying to get the channel the topi. Let's 
see the, the reflection's pretty dark on this side. Pretty dark in here and over here. We can get our squiggles in there. Oh, and also over here. Mm, a little bit. Does that look weird? Yes. Maybe this is like a dark brown pencil. Copy. Let's make a dark, dark brown. Reddish brown. And it goes this way. But it's underneath the white. <laughs> oh, but I ruined all my layers, so I'm screwed. Oh well, I can make it transparent. There's this little alpha here. Make it transparent. You can toggle the stroke on or off like this. You can toggle fill on or off like this. You can copy paste like that. Control C, Control V. Convert that into a fill. Convert it to a bob. But I like fill for now. Convert it to a Robert. Oh man, I don't know if I can do another man mix. Uh, I was I was uh, regretting that choice right after I did it yesterday. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a nice reflection here too. Copy. Let's make it really light. See, I should have done this earlier, but I didn't think. So it's too late now. Actually, no, there's a, there is a way we could make this whole thing lighter. The whole thing lighter. And then we put the shadow on top of that. The other really cool one is the, uh, oh, I mean, sorry, let me put the layers back together, merge down, okay, try it again. Okay, the other cool one is the noise modifier, that just gives us a nice little jiggle, like fake animation. 
I'll probably look back on this in a year or two and think like, wow, this is this is the animation equivalent of lens flare. Um, but I do like it though. <laughs> Daniel, I I don't know what grease pencils for. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out right now. But you could do little boat drawings with it, and um, you can do some animation with it, 2D animation. Um, storyboarding seems to be pretty good for. Uh, what I want to use it for is more 3D drawing and design, but I'm still figuring that out right now. Okay, so here's this is one application. We just use it directly as a 2D tool. But the other way of doing it would be to, let me open up uh, one of my other scenes here. Let's try <laughs> group C. So the other way to do it is um, to, you, you can draw on surfaces of 3D objects. So say we have a little car here. Um, Boo, 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 boo. Why is this not clipping together? Let me just make this flat. Oh, come on. What the hell? Why are you selecting that shit over there? Only this. Okay. All right, Scott. See you next time. Thanks for joining in. Okay, this one. Hmm. Why isn't this merging? There. Oh, shoot. This thing keeps cutting out. <laughs> All right. So in this case, we can use the grease pencil as like a sketch over layer. So this one was um sort of a group Group C type car, and I don't know which body I was using. I was using one of these and trying to draw over it. Bye bye. Um, and it kind of works like this, but it's a bit backwards because you have to uh, do the drawing of or do the model of your car first and then draw on top of it to get the lines, which doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, I don't know, man. I'll fi we'll figure this out someday. <laughs> All right, Scott. And, hmm. Yeah, so let's see. I still feel like just modeling is more direct. Something over other people's 3D. Yeah, I guess that that would be one use for this.
I'm going to turn down the grease pencil a little bit. I think it, it's too strong. I guess, I guess it's nice to have it as a guideline for when you're modeling. Um, a while to get mirror to work in 2.8 but we got it I think that was like last week sometime Oh, there we go. Mirror and then subdivide. So the order of stuff matters here. Like, if we do the subdivide after the mirror, then we get this. If we go before the mirror, or before the subdivide, then it goes like that. Much nicer. this on another layer so it doesn't um, so we can move it around without having to worry about the the body without screwing up the body and also I think I'm going to de delete some of this here so we don't have to deal with it so the less basically the less geometry you have the better it is for work um, when you're just trying to figure out the general shapes. try to do like a wheel, a covered wheel, like the silk cut Jaguar. Let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. sucker right here. Oh. What does Moto do better than Blender? Um, definitely selection in Moto is better. And uh, a lot of the the work plane is, def is a million times better than uh, 3D cursor. Work, work plane is one of the one things that I, I really miss from Modo. Um, the other thing is everything in Modo is sort of context sensitive, so it's a little bit more uh, 
smart in the way that it, it only presents you the tools that you would need based on what you wh what situation you're in. It's not going to give you every single tool like Blender does, um, which in theory it sounds nice to have every tool at all times, but in practice it actually makes things more confusing and um, it's not necessary. It's it's clutter basically. So Moto is very clean in the way it presents you the, the the tools. And uh, yeah, the UI is very, very streamlined. But I think Blender has a lot of things going for it too. There's a lot of things that Moto doesn't have also. Sometimes when you're in sub D, you can't really see what you're doing, so you have to switch. cars. So what if we have this big shape here and then we could cut out that graphic. So it would be like um, let's see. Let's go to wireframe. So it would be like we're cutting out right here. Like that. Okay, and can mirror that. Turn on center clip. Reset the center. There we go. Okay. And then we extrude this. Subtract. Oh, I don't want to subtract. I want to live subtract. There it is. Then we can do the subtract after everything. And we could also smooth out this. Subtract a little bit. front stuff here. Oops. It kind of does look like Batman, huh?
feel like that could have been simpler, so just get rid of that. Get rid of all the extra stuff that we don't need. That toggle center clip is just nice for getting these things to stick. So, will there be a new advanced Splinter tutorial for a spaceship or hover bike? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do a spaceship one next, but I'm waiting for 2.8 to come out, um, at least the beta, because right now we're in alpha, which is a bit, that's pretty shaky ground, but yeah, we'll, there will be a more advanced one coming soon. I'm basically just waiting for, uh, Blender beta to come out. And uh, yeah, thanks for following along so far. To resize th this menu, um, there's no real way to do it. Uh, you can do it in, in the script if you want. You go look up the heavy poly pop up materials.py and look for the. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Width here. You can change it here. But yeah, unfortunately we can't do it in the inside blender. Let's try glossy. Oops. Never mind. Let's 
Yep, you're welcome. Better from the lake. Okay, let's put a uh, glass on this one. Oops.
thing here. Yeah, you know, I don't know why I don't do this like should just draw it. Like that. Just straight. I don't need to do all the extra crap there. tablet now but how did you set up your buttons on the pencil oh um, I have there I'll show you I have middle mouse on the bottom button and right mouse on the top button so and this is only for blender so pen top button right click bottom button middle click and then double click is just double click Don't need an extra button for a double click. Ooh, that's frumpy. select oh here we are hey Jesse good morning I'm trying to do a little bit more grease pencil just tracing over That's the idea. Floor plan, uh, for floor pan, is so the car doesn't catch air underneath and fly, start flying. And then this stuff back here, it, the shape is to create. Uh, what is it? Like when you okay, let's say the air is coming here, and then back here it. It starts to expand very quickly, which creates, uh, what does it create? Low pressure, right? I don't know. It's like a vacuum that sucks the car, sucks the car down. That's what I learned on YouTube the other day. I 
stream it's like that so very flat very low and then all of a sudden it springs up See you, Jeff. Uh, Alright. See you, Darren. Have I seen Kyle.engineers? No, I haven't actually. Cool. Alright. I'm going to write that down. Definitely going to watch that. Thanks. Gonna make this double sided for now. Ooh, I know. Let's take let's take the engine from the Lotus. the Lotus. What's this? Oh, that's not it. Lotus, there it is. Let's grab, actually we could grab all the guts from this thing. Let's grab all this stuff. Yeah, all right. Why do the work twice? Oops. I'll put this in a collection. Guts. And then con control I to select the in inverse. Hmm. 
that's kind of interesting. Alright, well, something like that. Anyways, I really gotta go to the bathroom, so and I think uh, we've been going for a while, so. Try to, maybe I'll keep working on this later, but. Anyway, it's been fun, guys. I hope this stream, uh, I don't know, I, thought, I hope it was interesting. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.